Bruce Lee stood before a crowd of martial artists, skeptics, and fans at a demonstration in Long Beach, California, in 1964. They had gathered to witness his mastery of martial arts, but none of them were prepared for what they were about to see. With a single effortless motion, he delivered a punch so powerful that it sent his opponent tumbling backward yet his fist had only moved a single inch. This moment became legendary. The one-inch punch was not just a display of raw power. It was a lesson in biomechanics, precision, and the explosive energy that Bruce Lee had honed through years of training. Scientists, fighters, and martial artists alike were baffled. How could someone generate such force from such a short distance? The science behind the strike at first glance, the one-inch punch seemed to defy physics. Conventional wisdom suggested that the greater the distance a punch traveled, the more power it would carry. But Bruce Lee shattered that notion. He utilized a combination of perfect body mechanics, kinetic linking, and an extraordinary understanding of energy transfer. The secret lay in Lee's ability to generate power from the ground up. He engaged his legs, core, shoulders, and wrist in a rapid whip-like motion. This chain of movement, known as the kinetic chain, allowed him to transfer energy through his body with maximum efficiency. Unlike traditional punches that rely on arm movement alone, Lee's one-inch punch used the entire body. His stance was rooted yet fluid. His explosive speed and control over muscle tension allowed him to unleash force with pinpoint accuracy. Training for the impossible Bruce Lee didn't develop this technique overnight. He was obsessed with physical conditioning, constantly experimenting with different training methods. He practiced speed drills, fingertip push-ups, and one-arm pull-ups to strengthen his explosive power. His grip strength was legendary, allowing him to channel immense force in a split second. The one-inch punch was not an accident. It was the result of Lee's lifelong study of power generation, movement efficiency, and body mechanics. His approach to martial arts was influenced by various disciplines, including Wing Chun Kung Fu. The one-inch punch shares similarities with Wing Chun's short-range strikes, which rely on relaxed muscles and sudden bursts of energy. Western boxing, Bruce Lee studied boxers' ability to generate knockout power in tight spaces. Fencing, he adopted the concept of economy of motion, ensuring that every movement had a purpose. Taoist and Zen philosophy, he believed in achieving a state of non-resistance, where the body moves in harmony with energy rather than against it. By combining these elements, Lee refined a technique that would shock the world. Breaking down the one-inch punch at first glance, the one-inch punch seems impossible. How can someone generate such force with almost no movement? The answer lies in Bruce Lee's mastery of biomechanics, energy transfer, and muscle coordination. The kinetic chain, generating power from the ground up Bruce Lee's one-inch punch was not just an arm movement, it was a full body strike. The energy flowed through him in a carefully coordinated sequence. Feet, the punch starts from the ground. Bruce Lee would plant his feet firmly, using the ground as the foundation for his power. Legs, he engaged his leg muscles, creating an upward force. Hips and core, his hips would twist explosively, adding rotational power. His core muscles engaged to stabilize and channel the force upward. Shoulder and arm, the power then moved into his shoulder, down his arm, and finally into his wrist and fingers, delivering a concentrated burst of energy into the target. Each part of his body contributed to the strike, making it incredibly powerful despite the short distance. Relaxation before impact the power of speed Bruce Lee understood that tension slows movement. Many fighters tighten there, 